Yum, yum. Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pixel Fondue. My name is Chris. Uh, today, it's just a quick little review of a reference viewing application that I found. I've been using it for a little over a year, almost two years, I guess. And it's been working really well for me. Okay, so what we see here is what we, I normally have open on my other monitor while I'm working. Well, that kind of depends. If I'm in ZBrush, I usually got my key shot open so I can keep track of what's going on in ZBrush, right? Again, key shot's a really cool little pro, uh, not little, but it's a really nice little application for things you're doing in ZBrush, right? Uh, but we're not talking about key shot today. We're talking about this app here. It's called Quadro. Okay, I'll show you the website. Right, this is the website you can go get this. It's an uh, application the Cruel Games people made. I don't know if it's one person, ten people, a hundred people or not, but I think it's just a couple of people or one. But this is the uh, app that we're talking about, right? It's going to be a quick little review today. Nothing quick, nothing too in-depth. Uh, let's see, we got this. These are the tools. He's got a YouTube video so you can get an idea what he uses this for and some... Uh, some ideas about how to use it and again it's not too difficult it's pretty self-explanatory once you've gotten involved with it now it's free you can download this for free there's a donate button if you want to help out <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> uh, I can't speak for the Mac version I have not used this on the Mac at all Windows version, I can attest to that it works pretty well, and it doesn't seem to have any uh, show-stopping bugs or any peculiarities that I found, right? Uh, here's the latest version. Uh, let's see, on his Facebook site, he updated it about, I think he said October 2016, which is a little while ago, but not too long. These kind of apps don't need a lot of uh, tweaking and updates, right? Once it's set up, it's pretty much good to go, right? He just adds things every once in a while. But this version right now is the one you're seeing that I've got, right? You can get that information there. Again, here's the address. You can go there and kind of check it out if you want to. Go to YouTube, see what he's got going on, right? But that's that. Goodbye that. Okay, so... What happens in here, I can let you see a little bit. Here's this. You see a little bit of the controls there, but I'll hit the about. All right, there's the latest version. Links to get what you need. Now, once mine is set up, I usually just use these top mouse controls. All right, that's about it. But there is a lot of things you can do depending on what your needs are, right? I'll leave this here for a few moments so you can kind of review that, pause the video, read what it says. Okay, take a look, take a look. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, goodbye. Uh, so once I've got my thing set up, I just start bringing in images. You load them in, and again, I'm just using my mouse wheel. I can move around here. I'm kind of alt dragging, figuring out what I need. Click on the images, right? You can do whatever you need. Toggle the grayscale. I like that one a lot. Sometimes I do not. Especially when I'm doing surfacing, I often do not want to see the color details, right? I don't need that. I'm just looking grayscale and trying to figure out what's happening, right? Need to flip things, flip them, right? Lots of stuff you can do here. You can change the opacity depending on what you're doing. Whoops. Oh, you can see ZBrush poking through right there, right? But as you can see, whoops, Alt, use the Alt button to move that around. This is a great little app, right? But then again, you saw the ULR. Go back to that and the video with this. You can go find out more about it if you'd like. I found it to be very useful and convenient. Uh, again, you can donate if you want or download and use it as you see fit. All right, later on. Yum, yum.